Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm so excited because after like a year of saying it, I'm finally organizing my refrigerator. And so today I'm sharing our grocery haul that I am getting ready to go get. And then we're gonna organize my refrigerator and try to get it um, as organized as I can. I honestly, honestly, y'all, I don't know what I'm doing here with organizing this refrigerator. Also, the kids are playing. But we're, I'm gonna do the best I can and try to get it um, looking as organized as I can with the things that we use in our refrigerator and the things I buy for it. Um, so I've got a bunch of containers here. I am gonna label some of those, maybe not all of them, but I am gonna label some of them. So I'm so excited to use my Cricut for that. Y'all heard me talk about my Cricut Joy so many times, so thank you Cricut for sponsoring today's video. I am gonna be getting that out. It is the best machine for like simple everyday around the house projects that you wanna do. Um, it's very small, it's like the size of my hand. I love it so much, cause anytime I wanna label something or I have a little project that I wanna do, I even can like make little shirts for the girls or iron on things for them with it. So. Yeah, it's awesome for things that I'm like, yeah, I need to do that. So I just uh, get it out and it's super easy, quick to do that. So I'm going to label some of these. Let me show you all the bins that I have. I actually got all this on Amazon. I got new fruit slash vegetable bins. I, honestly, we buy more fruit than we do vegetables. But um, so I got new little containers for those. Um, and then these are all of my refrigerator bins. I have an egg one, which I may end up getting another one of these because I eat eggs every single morning. I think this holds 14 of them. And then I have like some smaller ones, some larger ones, like one for like cans, like little slim ones. So I'm going to use, I may not use all of these, but that's okay because because I can use these in other areas of my home if I decide not to use all of them. So yeah, that is what we're gonna get started with today, but let's go get our groceries. I have a very uh, quick, easy, simple, just a few meals for the rest of the week because we, our weeks have been so busy lately, but um, just like a few things that I'll share with y'all and share a grocery haul and then we'll get to organizing and restocking my pantry, refrigerator and all that. So I'm excited to share that after We've been in this house a year. I'm pretty sure like right at the beginning after we moved into this house, I said, I'm gonna uh, organize this refrigerator soon. A year later, I'm finally doing it. So let me show y'all actually um, a before of the refrigerator. So this is, it's not bad, honestly. Like the way this refrigerator is made, all of these drawers are so nice to have. Um, I do need to do like a quick wipe down of it, but um, yeah, it is not bad at all. So. I may even label these. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know about that one because it's got all kinds of, but I might do this one. They are out of my creamer, which I'm so sad about. I actually got something different to try, so I'll have to grab some creamer later because I have, that might do me for tomorrow. But this is a before of the refrigerator, and then we'll see what I decide to do with all of those bins. My sweet babies, say good morning. Good morning. <laughs> you ready to go get groceries? Yeah? No? You wanna go you wanna go get a cake pop? I think we might go do that. Okay? We go do this about once a week, don't we? <gasps> Hi, and one day you'll be able to get a cake pop too. I'm not cake not to pop. no, not today. He's too little. Alright, we have everything laid out. Um Callan, well he was. I guess he's laying in the floor. He was eating one of these little uh well, little focus. One of these little teethers. He really likes to Kind of munch on those a little bit. Um, but here's all my groceries. I did get this for the top of the tree. Not, I guess we'll, it's big. I wouldn't expect it to be so big, um, which is probably what we need. But I'm going to probably wait till everybody gets home and we'll see how it looks and see if I'll keep it or if we'll take it back and try something different. But as far as our groceries, I'll start over here. I got some potatoes. One day we're going to do steak and baked potatoes. But now that uh, Weight Watchers has changed, which let me know if y'all, I, I don't want to say do a video on it because I am not familiar with all of the changes yet. Still very new to me, but um, maybe next week I can film another what I eat in a day and maybe like, I don't know, share my thoughts, maybe. Um, still gathering those. But potatoes for me are now free. Um, and so I did get a thing of potatoes. We're going to do steak and baked potatoes. 
I got some grapes. These look so good too. Uh, some bananas, two things of blackberries, a couple of these laughing cow cheese, and I got several Lunchables because a lot of times they're out of these and they're just really easy lunches for the kids. Couple things of cereal. I let the kids pick which cereal on the grocery order last night. So one picked that and one picked that. Um, a couple of my favorite. This is the best iced coffee. Better than the Starbucks bottle one. Are you not gonna let me finish my groceries? Huh, CP boy. These are, this is the best iced coffee. So I got a couple more of those because most of the time they're out of stock on that as well on my grocery order. I got a thing of milk, 2% milk. I got uh, Callan some avocados. And we have some regular cinnamon rolls, which um, they were out of stock on one of them. I did get orange rolls too, and they were out of those. So they substituted the orange ones for these strawberry and cream cheese ones. So I decided to keep them because we've never tried them, and maybe the kids will like them. They look good, so we're going to try those. Got some Go-Gurts. We got some baby yogurt for Callan. Turkey pepperoni, half and half for my iced coffee. Needed some more spray butter and then a couple cheeses. Also got some smoothies. Um, we got, I grabbed some of these hash browns because they are zero points and I thought I'd incorporate that into my breakfast. Uh, some breakfast things, we got some blueberry waffles. Ethan really loves the strawberry ones but they're always out of them like for the last like couple months. So he does like the blueberry, French toast sticks, regular waffles. I got, I actually ordered three of these for my lunches this week. They were out of one of them. So I got, I'm gonna try these. They're kind of small, but I think they're gonna be good. Maybe not too small. Um, they've got the chicken and everything with it. Uh, they are seven points each. And then uh, if you're on, of course, the new plan, you can take away a point because of all the veggies in there. So I got the Santa Fe and then I got the Caesar. And then the other one that I had gotten was like an avocado ranch one, like everything when I think the brand of that one was Tom, I don't remember. I'm gonna say it wrong if I say it. I can't remember which one it was. But I got two of those um, to try. Also, I'm so excited about this. I did not, I uh, went ahead and grabbed it, but maybe I'll meal plan with this next week. So um, I love the Taco Bell Power Bowls and they have the avocado ranch on them and it is my favorite. It's so, so yummy. I don't know the points on it. And I was so excited to see that Walmart had that. So I might meal plan with that next week. I got some ground beef. We're gonna do sloppy joes. Got some buns to go with it. Here are our steaks as well. Um, we got some juice packs for the girls as well as some little small waters for them too. I got some eggs. I got some bread. Two of these is only three points. The Cerely, uh white bread with whole grain, two for three points, which is awesome. Um, so I got two of, or one of those and then I got a couple of my pretzels. Y'all know how much I love those. And then let me make this quick because Callan is ready to be done. Some granola bars, uh, non-grocery stuff. I got some body wash and some dry shampoo. And then over here we got some cereal bars, some Cheez-Its, and some Rice Krispie treats. And then the last thing that I didn't uh, share for my meal plan, I do have some chicken in the fr uh, freezer. So we'll do like grilled chicken if we need another meal this week. Um, but that is my grocery haul. I am on my way, I'm in motion Let's go to the ocean Yeah, let's go outside We can hang out on the beach without freezing Yeah, isn't that amazing? In Christmas time We'll be chilling and having a good, good time Doesn't matter if the snow is falling Or the windows in the rain is pouring It will always be Christmas in my heart But this year I wanna hang out with my friends and family Making angels in the sand you read me Doesn't matter if it's Christmas in my All right, so I had to get the kids down and all that, so I went ahead and just put everything in here. But now it is time to go ahead and like organize it. Um, so I'm gonna take, um, I don't know if I'm gonna do anything right here because I mean, 
I mean, I, I'll go through it and like kind of redo it and see if anything's expired or anything. But as far as like sauces and things like that, I mean, this is like the perfect spot for them. So, um, I am going to go ahead and take everything out and kind of figure out how I want to do the bins. I may kind of do some bins across here. Um, I don't know. I haven't decided yet, but I'm going to take everything out, get everything ready, and we're going to um, start figuring out how I want to organize it. I'm sure these are not going to stay this way, but um, these do fit very well in here. I really don't think I'm going to be able to use them all, or I don't think I'll need to use them all. Just because we do have so much space, like right here, I could like even add. I don't think it'll fit. Um, um, maybe. Yeah, it'll barely fit. Um, I don't know. I think I've got to just start putting things in then to decide like exactly like how it needs to be. Um, but they do fit well i even have i gotta do my fruit ones as well so i don't think i'm gonna use them all and then i also have my egg one too so i'm gonna start kind of seeing exactly how i want to put them in there and see what i want to change up to see it we're getting ready to make a couple labels to go in here just because I think that's fun but it looks so good and so much better than I thought it was gonna look I really thought like okay I don't know if I have enough stuff to go in these bins 
but usually it's just like stuff crammed in here but this is how it looks i do need to put my little creamer pitcher in here i've got to pick up some creamer later since they didn't have it on my grocery order but it looks so good and i don't know i feel like it's gonna make my grocery shopping easier like these are like all of our staples juice packs yogurts mandarin oranges cheeses you know lunchables when i want to get those these salads which i ate one for lunch and it was really good um coffee and then fruits and veggies we go through that so quickly uh delaney loves cucumbers so these are super easy for her to, make her to come get herself they're already cut up which i typically don't do got the girls some little waters in here this also holds cans perfectly um lay cans down i just don't have any cans uh, all of my eggs and I may actually go ahead and pick up another one of those because I eat eggs all the time and then like in these little drawers I just have um, I have a lot some extra cheeses I have some of these boiled eggs hash browns I didn't have any room for some grapes so I just stuck those in here and then down here I did put my meat right there and then I've got bacon and some butter and some like lunch meats and so all of this this is like the stuff that I use a lot mainly like my Bolt House Farms ranch my spray butter um, all of that I don't want to get rid of those sauces because we just put our extra sauces up there milks and heavy cream and all of our like condiments are still in there but let's go ahead and make the labels I think I'm gonna label like I think I label the eggs I think I'll label some of the fruit um, I might go ahead and make a little I'm trying to decide for my little coffee creamer thing um, I'll just have to make these small but I might label some of these I'm trying to decide to that um, so yeah let's go ahead and make a make a few labels so this is my Cricut Joy I'm actually gonna be sharing with y'all I'm doing it on my phone today um, this is my Cricut Joy it's about just over the size of my hand it's small it's the best for like everyday things I don't need this blue I had to grab that and wasn't even I guess I didn't realize the color but the materials I'm gonna need for this project I need my machine I'm gonna need this as I am like smoothing it out and attaching it to the transfer paper so I'm gonna need some transfer paper to put it on the bins then I'm just gonna use some white vinyl this is the smart permanent vinyl just the plain white is all I'm using um, so I thought I'd walk y'all through the process especially this is actually the first time I'm doing it on my phone I always do it on my computer but I thought I'd try it on my phone today um, and then of course you get this cute little bag with it but let me share let's go through the process and make all the labels that I need all right so on my phone I have the design space pulled up there's so many things you can do on here you can even make cards with your Cricut Joy um, like I've shared before I've made several things for my girls and put like flowers on them a unicorn there's lots of different things for your vinyl mine's gonna be so simple so I'm gonna go down here I don't know if you can see it I'm gonna hit text and uh, you can search fonts I'm gonna see what fonts I like and what I think would look good there's yeah, as y'all can see there's tons of fonts I'm still on letter a over here <laughs> okay so I've got kind of what I want for the deli I'm gonna do the deli and the meat and I'm gonna do them the exact same um, so we're gonna do this one we're gonna bring it up here I've got it about the size that I want it about three inches and then I'm gonna do the same thing and do meats as well and then i'm also going to add everything else like yogurts and juice and fruit and vegetables and go ahead and add everything that i'm going to add into the refrigerator then i'll show y'all what's next so on here i have all of my stuff we've got deli meats a couple um, extras juice yogurt pouches cheese sla salads and lunchables veggies eggs and fruit then we're going to hit make it without our mat because with the Cricut Joy you don't need a mat to cut the vinyl and then this is how it's going to look on there it will share it will show you without the mat we need about 20 inches of material length um, I could definitely you know obviously do this a little different and cut them side by side but this is just really easy so okay so we're going to do smart vinyl permanent and so this is telling me exactly what to do make sure the blade is in there and then i'm going to load the materials so i've got my vinyl here so it's going to kind of load in here and then we'll go through and make sure it has enough 
length. All right, and then I'm gonna hit go. This is so cool doing it on my phone. Like I said, the very first, this is the first time I'm doing it on my phone. So now it's just gonna start cutting everything and then it'll be ready. All right, I got them all cut out. Um, I'm gonna go through with each bin and go ahead and stick them all on there. I have, where is it at? I have my transfer paper here. Basically, I just take a piece of transfer paper um, and stick this on there and press down on it really good. I use my little tool right here to do that. Let's go ahead and do all the bins and hopefully, hopefully I've got them sized right. I think I do, so let's get started with that. look like it turned out even better than I thought I was thinking okay is like labeling stuff in my refrigerator gonna be too extra but I actually really like it um, I will say that I did kind of mislabel this because I didn't do it intentionally I don't know why I was thinking I had pouches in here but I did get pouches on my grocery order like little yogurt pouches and they didn't have any um, and so I think I will use this for stuff like that especially like as Callan gets into eating more we may replace this yogurt with like the pouch yogurt so anyways they can always be like changed up and all that but other than that it looks so good and I love the labels I think it looks so neat in here and hopefully it'll stay this way everything's super easy for the kids to grab um, if they need well, some fruit or some cheese or some yogurt or anything like that so I love it so I will leave links below to a lot of the things I used as well as all my Cricut stuff. Um, some of the materials I used, my machine, and um, yeah, anything else that I can remember to link below, I will leave that. But I hope you guys enjoyed this grocery haul slash meal plan slash refrigerator uh, organized with me. So I hope you guys did enjoy it and I'll see you guys very soon for another video. Bye. All I want to do is spend this holiday with you. Tomorrow it